doing math in our jammies and Wyatt thinks he's old enough to put on deodorant. <laughs> you trying to get it down your shirt there, buddy? Oh, good job. You stink. Stickers. Stickers. We made it to our new campground, Costa Mesa Bear Day National Park. And look, Dad, I made a wrong turn. <laughs> Dad won today. This beautiful site we have. I think it's the longest, <laughs> biggest spot that we've had this whole year on our trip. It's called the Views, outside of Durango, Colorado. So we'll be here for a few nights while we go to visit Mesa Verde National Park. That's so pretty. Actually a pretty seamless move day. Yeah, nothing fell down or broke except we can't open the door. Ugh, it's stuck. It's open. Dad is always good at fixing everything. So let's get the bikes out. Pizza party with our new friends! Yay! <laughs> Pretty rainbow! Look at that! Waiting for you. Go get in the picture. You don't have to throw all the rocks. Hurry! Go! Visitor Center, Mesa Verde National Park today. Mesa Verde National Park was established in 1906 and it's the only park that uh, preserves Pueblo culture and prehistoric architecture. Yes. Yeah, maybe that's where you climb down. So we'll see what we can see today of these extraordinary record of the Pueblo people. You want a picture? It's like going and asking everyone. Did Pretty cool. Would you guys want to live under a rock like this? Yeah. Video. A pleasant family hike. It's been about 100 yards now. Well, Ed is learning how to hike. The big thing is he wants to stop and throw rocks at everything. That's all he wants out of life, and we're being mean. Okay, so does anyone else like pickled beets? <laughs> I pickled these about a year ago, and I brought them with me in the trailer, and I just now remembered that I had them in the cupboard. So now I'm enjoying some yummy pickled beets. None of, no one in my family likes them, so. Four chops. Dinner tonight. You like your food? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. And now we're dancing. Turn this way and smile, Mama. Oh, this is the activity before bed tonight. 
That's really gonna get him ready for bed, huh? Hi. Oh, and over here. Oh, nice. Don't worry, it's not done. We got cinnamon rolls and church on TV today. Okay, so we came back to Mesa Verde. We weren't able to do as much as we wanted to yesterday because pretty much we were gonna run out of gas. We didn't realize like how far you had to drive to get me. And how, and yeah, and how hilly it was um, to see what you wanted to see. So we left earlier than we wanted to yesterday. So we thought we'd come back today in between sessions of the <laughs> and go on like one more hike. Yay! Why it's very exciting. But. <laughs> Ready to go on a hike? <laughs> you love hiking? Uh, yes? Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. uh -oh. <laughs> this is called Spruce Treehouse. What do you think, Shirley? Cool. Going on the petroglyph trail. 2.4 miles. Listen when they said strenuous hike. <laughs> Wyatt, you're too heavy. You're it's getting too big. <laughs> Pretty view from the top. Way out there, that's the museum. That is where we started. Right there. And then we've hiked all along the bottom here. And now we're at the top. So we're going to take the top all the way back to the museum again. That was a good hike. 2.4 miles out to the petroglyphs and back. The loop trail. It was pretty strenuous because there was some climbing over rocks and lots of steps that went up and down. But everyone did great. Did you guys like it? Yeah. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> right by our bed. <laughs> We've got Jesus and the sheep and a little beaded bracelet. Thank you. So we're leaving our trailer in southern Colorado and we're going for two days to drive up the million dollar highway to Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park, the last national park in Colorado. which is all dirt roads. And we came in right here, and we're gonna drive down these switchbacks and have a few views to look at. Tomorrow, we'll go to this other side, which is the red line, which is the paved roads. But today, we're looking around the north rim. That's a view. <laughs> what did you say? It's a big cliff.
massive mommy like a hole. As in View Nature Trail, it even had a booklet with numbers with 10 different things that we read about this area. It was done very well and the kids enjoyed it. Holy cow, I think my heart's still beating fast. You okay? <laughs> Look at this cutest Airbnb we're staying at. They've got horses and a little doggy and cows and chickens. I love finding little spots like this. Look how cute our little Airbnb is. We all fit in four queen beds. There's a little bathroom in here. So, hey, it's a lot bigger than our trailer. Do you want me to hold your blanket? No. Wyatt found even a better way than throwing rocks in water. Go! <laughs> yep, throw it to the doggy. I feel like he's not fighting. You know, a word for. Okay, we ready for the picture? So we came to the south rim today, and you can see right across the other side, that's the north rim where we were yesterday. But just as steep, just as impressive. <laughs> it's a hundred foot drop, it's 200. What's that from? So this is right where we were on that nature trail yesterday. We walked right along here, right up to that edge that drops. <laughs> so if you want a good hike, go to the north rim and do the nature trail. And we're ending the day with meatball sandwiches and ice cream. Wait, what, what, what? Wait, what? Thank you, boy. Making us cookies. I got a cookie, too. Mmm. Mmm. Is it good? Bite. Bite. <laughs> You're not actually supposed to bite it. And three. Oh, good jump. Back with my best buddy. Yay. <laughs> He's talking so much. It's bedtime. Jump.
do you see? Good part of lunch. Back. 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 Oh. Back. Oh. Back. 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 Back to the trailer, and the trailer's still here, so that's always good news. But we gotta get some laundry going, because tomorrow we leave for Moab, and we're boondocking for about a week in Moab. So we gotta have all our laundry clean. Wyatt's being so helpful getting schoolwork done, aren't you, Wyatt? What are you doing? Hello! out watching the pretty sunset but tomorrow we are finally leaving Colorado and we are headed back to Moab which kind of makes us feel like we've made a complete circle but we are excited to be back in Utah not sure how long we'll spend in Moab uh, we need to be in St. George for a Scottish Games on the 16th so we'll see what we want to see in Moab we'll probably do a few things in Canyonlands and a few things in Arches before we head home but uh, we loved Colorado, it was amazing. Loved the four national parks and how different each one was here. And um, we will be back for sure. But we're excited also to return home to Utah for um, about six weeks. It's move day today, the slide's in, everything's packed up. We are headed to Moab. So this is where we are in Colorado right now, right by Cortez. And we are gonna drive up through Monticello into Moab, which is really close. Our home is right there in Richfield. So we'll stay in Moab for, I don't know, we'll see how long we wanna boondock and see what the weather's like uh, before we head back to our hometown in Richfield to park at Grandma's house. Here it is. Three, two, one. We made it to our boondocking or dispersed camping spot right outside of Moab. I think we missed these red rocks. All my kids were excited. So pretty. There's lots of other camp campers here, but we're all pretty spread out and it's free, so you can't complain. Tell us what you found. This bracket is supposed to be attached this part to here. That's broken before and we re-welded it on in Florida. Not welded anymore. Yep. Which meant it dug into our tire. Yep. Right here on the side of the tire. So, you know, we're close to home, but we might have to do something about that for the next two hour drive home.
Let's see. Is that what you're going to be for Halloween? Yeah. All right. Look how cute. We got some diggers. We got some fire makers. This beautiful view. Lighting fire lesson. in the dark. Sun should be coming through that way. That's where it's gonna come up. It's gonna be pretty. Well you win some and you lose some. <laughs> I think it's just too cloudy to see much of a sunrise this morning. But this nice morning glow is pretty. Look, as soon as we walk away, the sun comes through the clouds. Made it to Broken Arch. A little broken. So we decided to take the long way back from the arch. <laughs> it's like trail continues through the arch. So we thought that was the way back. Now we're hiking in the rain. It's fine. Everyone's everyone's good. Just got back from our date. Look how pretty. Just love Moab and all the red rocks. <laughs> Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Pretty night after that rain. Beautiful morning. And the kids are back in the dirt. <laughs> Dad's working on the weld that broke right there. And just working on some Saturday morning chores. And the girls are playing house over here. We're going to climb up to the top of Whale Rock. Yeah, keep going. You're doing good. Keep going. The kids beat us up there. It's favorite. We've backtracked. Back to the puddle. Wyatt, come on! It's the worst thing to have on the the trail. We'd rather just stay here. Okay, let's go. Yes, Rock. Okay, let's go. Okay, bye. We're leaving. See ya. Well, we're leaving. We view it here. 
the whale. Over here. More hike for the day. Going to Mesa Arch. When we did this one last year, we did it in the snow. just for a Sunday afternoon, you know, getting out of the trailer. And still a line at four in the afternoon. <laughs> Man, everyone likes this national park. Everyone loves Moab in October. He's got his sand toys. Let's see if he runs right through the puddle. Well, oh, went around today. Breakfast. Nice 
hair today. Ooh. Got his own bike shop over here. <laughs> Trying to tune up all the bikes. Over time, just brakes and wheels and greasing. Made some Dutch babies today in the trailer oven. Getting our bracket welded back on so we can be able to move in a few days. Let's see what, how you guys decorated. Okay, we're going to the Mill Creek Falls hike in Moab. This is a hike that's actually not in a national park. One more. So if you're not from Utah, what we do here is we like to mix our tomato and our ketchup and our mayonnaise. But really, <laughs> we're lazy, and so we make our own fry sauce. It's mainly just ketchup and mayonnaise, but that's what we like to put on our hamburgers and dip our fries in. So, do you guys know about fry sauce? Do you want me to open the fry sauce? So this is always another fun thing for the kids to do. That's Arches right there behind me. And right across the street is this big sand hill. So we're working off our dinner. I told the kids they have to go to the top and run down. See how it goes. There we go. Wyatt wants to be right in the middle of his brothers while they're doing school. <laughs> it says 400 square feet is too small for eight people. Dad! We don't have a table, but it's always the floor. Dad! I cleaned the bathroom this morning. You know, it's cold and rainy outside, so we're just doing stuff inside. I spent an hour cleaning the bathroom. Dad spends an hour sharpening knives. We all help out around the house here. Mm. You say broccoli? Broccoli? You love broccoli? Mm. Broccoli, broccoli. What are you excited about today? Look out to Oh my goodness. Yeah! So excited to go back to our hometown and visit Grandma.
close into our hometown. Yay! Even snow in the mountains. The cool thing about Richfield is we have snowy mountain mountains and we have red rock mountains. We get a little of both. Here's our old house. Big hugs for Grandma! <laughs> Go give her hugs! She's in real person! It's okay, guys. It's also... My hugs so Grandma's got puppies. Oh my goodness. Is it so cute? Hi, puppy! Oh, I have a another Instagram account that I put all of our pictures on and I print off these chapbooks for our kids and we've had them all mailed to grandma's house. Let's pile them up. <laughs> these are all, there's even more chapbooks that um, have been our trip for the past year. Crazy, huh? And then what I do is I have, this is just the whole family one. But then I also we should stack them according have printed them off, hold on, for each kid. So this is Cassidy's book. So she gets her own books with just pictures that she is in. With the boys? I'm three. I have a five. Okay, I got a two. You might win. Yay, I won one. <laughs> Just driving through my cute downtown Richfield. It's crazy that we've been gone for a year. Looks exactly the same. Hey, what'd you make for lunch? Shirley had a crochet. Is it knit or crochet? Crochet. Grandma's doing a purple blanket. But... Those of you who don't know, my husband and I and our oldest son compete in Scottish games all over the country. And today we have one in St. George. So here we're beautiful red rock fun festival so we're pretty much the entertainment see how far and high we can throw implements we're excited Cotton candy. And 
Are you sharing with Wyatt? Are they sharing with you? My, my, mine? Oh, yeah, they share with you. Wow. What you got? That's a lot of balloons. at my event yesterday <laughs> this is what you win in Scottish games Just... it it's probably handcrafted yeah you know carbon steel just what I always wanted doing potluck at grandma's house. So I made some fruit salad. It's got a little bit of orange juice, cinnamon, and honey. Love fruit. And something a little extreme today. We're taking out the back shower. No one ever uses a double shower. Who showers at the same time in a trailer? And we are going to cap off the water, take out the shower pan, and we're gonna build storage in here. So it should be a lot better use of the space. Now we have a hole in the floor. It's fine. It will work out. This guy finished it all in one day. Out with the shower, in with the storage shelves. So this will fit much better space. And now there's more room for people to actually use the bathroom. Yay. Works a lot better for us. Okay, so our hometown is in central Utah, but today I'm headed up north a couple hours towards Salt Lake to visit my dad. Uh, my dad's 80 years old. He is in a rehab facility right now after having a fall and having surgery on his foot. Um, but I haven't seen him for a year, so I left the kids at home with dad so I could go up and visit my dad. Also, my sister is going to be there from California. I'm excited to see them both. It's been a while. and. Um, should be a fun day. I'm Jimmy John's with my sister Heather from California and my two nieces. It's okay, you don't watch my story, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Patience, loving, kindness, what else? I'm an burger. An burger. Topped with an A's burger. <laughs> and now I'm headed home. Look at those beautiful mountains. Love the Salt Lake Valley. So pretty. We're having uh, bike tire change lessons today. Did you get it, Shirley? Yeah. All right. Bike is repaired. Okay, well Another project my husband did is we got rid of the crib and he built these railings just on the bottom bed. Love it. Love it. <laughs> okay, Stormtrooper, Princess Leia, R2D2, Chewy. Chewbacca. What are you, Cass? She got a rock. Transformer and a junior ranger. A junior ranger. We're going to a church trunk or treat. Those who don't know, I don't know if it's a tra tra tradition everywhere, but we do a trunk or treat with our church. So everyone pulls up their cars and we pass out candy to all these cute trick or treaters. Oh. 
Hello, Stormtrooper. Hello. Are you loving this candy thing? Yeah. What you eating? Show mommy. Apples. Apples. Say chocolate. Mmm. Hey, cute girls. Did everyone have fun? Did you get enough candy? No. No? Get my We braved the storage unit today. It's yeah. supposed to be warm. So we're gonna be pulling probably half of this stuff out, putting some more stuff in, trying to reorganize, trying to look for a few things. <sighs> we'll see how it goes. I kinda showed these, but these are a family tradition um, that we do in our family, and we take a formal portrait of our kids when they're five years old. So these are probably the most valuable things in our storage unit. <laughs> Um, and Cassidy is going to get her portrait taken. That's one of the reasons we had to come back, is to get her portrait taken up in Salt Lake. But um, yeah, these are really fun to hang up in the house. Things we've noticed. Um, why do we need so many TVs? One, that two, one that one three, <laughs> four. Also, uh, storage baskets. We're, we're paying to store storage baskets and bins and laundry baskets. And look, we're like a fourth of the way in. Yay! This is where we're at. We're stopping about, I would say, a third of the way. We figure the rest of the stuff is just furniture and big items. Um, so we mainly came for clothes for the kids to grow into. We even found a wagon that we're gonna bring and a heating dish. But, and of course, Cassidy found toys. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna start putting the stuff back in and see if we can make a little bit more room. Yeah, I thought it was gonna take all day. Mainly we just gave up. We didn't wanna go through anything else. <laughs> just burn it down. So now the car is full. We still have some TVs and a mattress to put back in, but we have a little bit of space to um, go through the trailer now and add some more stuff to the storage unit. They're one of our favorite spots because it's a Coca-Cola plant and you can get the bottles for 50 cents and the cans for 25 cents. So the kids always love to stop and get a little treat. And now the kids will be entertained for hours because we brought back one box of baby toys. Oh. 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 So we're going through girls' clothes today. Oh man. Keeping these three girls' clothes in different seasons and different sizes is a full time job. <laughs> Look how cute they are out there. There's Daddy with Wyatt jumping on the trampoline. With two doggies running around. Look, Blake finished his clock. Now has a permanent spot in the trailer. How was it? Was it fun? Yes, it was fun. Amen. Someone was out jumping on the tramp and now his pants are all wet. Now we gotta change your clothes. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you were jumping. Come on, hurry. We're gonna be late for church. Okay, ready for church? Got your dry pants on. Let's go. Yummy pumpkin bars. Oh, wow, oh, there you go, wow, there you go. My favorite. <laughs> so good. I don't, I don't. Unless I can miss it. <laughs> yeah, some frosting on your lip. Yeah. Um, 
Is it good? Did you go to the store with dad? <gasps> What'd you get me? A gas station breakfast burrito? <gasps> and what did you get? Oh. <laughs> oh, you want my burrito? <laughs> oh, you're, you, you're taking my burrito from me. <laughs> Are you gonna eat my burrito? <laughs> What'd you make? it is today. No one wants to play outside. It's too windy. Wyatt, you've been sleeping for three hours. It's time to get up. Hello, buddy. Hi. Yeah, you wake up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ready? Ready? Go! Oh! 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 Homeschool works. Cassidy's working on hers. Blake's working on his high school work. And Mason's working on his coding. Let's ask it a question. Uh, will we travel again? can't read it. What does it say? No. <laughs> uh oh. That's... <laughs> Someone practiced their piano every day last week. So we got a soda and a cookie. He's already failed for this week though. So we'll have to try again next week. We're both going to fail. Ah! <laughs> We're riding bikes. Had to get out of the trailer. Everyone was going crazy. Ah! Here it comes! Ah! <laughs> what you guys doing under there? Uh, Hi. This is Pico's cage, and this is what me and Wyatt's Oh, awesome. And we have all of the animals out there. Tell me what you did at your playgroup today. Spider thing you did. What does it do? Spider climb up the spout? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Can you show me your cookies? You got Halloween cookies on a Christmas plate. Pumpkin, cat, and witch's hat. Did you have fun? I love how Wyatt gets so entranced when I'm editing videos. He loves the videos I put together. To the dentist, five kids. It's a lot of teeth. We'll see if we have cavities. Uh oh. <laughs> has a small cavity on the side of her tooth. Uh-oh. <laughs> and Venice has one in between her teeth. There she is. There she is. There's the cavity. Run! Else, I mean, that's a lot of teeth times five. Two cavities for after a year of traveling and eating treats and snacks. It's not too bad. 
I'll take it. So we'll have to come back and get some couple cavities filled. But they got us in and out pretty fast. They did a good job. So now we go back to do some homeschool. Woo this pretty tree out our window at Grandma's house. I love when it has all the colors of fall. It's a pretty one. So today's project is the underbelly storage. <laughs> We're going through what we have not used in the past year, like tennis rackets, and deciding what we want to use for the second half of our trip. So hopefully we can downsize a little bit and not have so much stuff stuffed under there. Learning to jump rope with a piece of hose today. Hey, it actually works pretty good. Nice job. Cheer us along. So we will go. Yeah. We will go to Salt Lake tomorrow. Yeah. It's only forced bonding time. That is I-70 right there that goes from Colorado to Utah, and then there's Richfield, right off I-70. Okay, we are headed up to um, Provo Salt Lake area today. We're actually first stopping in Forum at my nephew's Handles ice cream store. Um, him and his family own uh, a couple here in Utah and then actually quite a few in California. Um, my family runs Handles ice cream stores. So it's awesome. <laughs> and then we're gonna head up to Salt Lake City. Okay, Handles ice cream store in Orem. Yummy! My nephew Cole, he's my oldest sister's fourth, third child out of five. And he's opened up two stores, one here in Orem and then one in Lehigh. One covered in Spanish Fork in January. And one in Spanish Fork. How many do your parents own in California now? Well, Marcus. And my, my sister and my brother both own stores together. So how many together? Some of them. Some of them are know. together. I think they have four or five open right now together, but they have an agreement with handles to open five, six more. Holy so there'll be cow. a lot more in Southern California. That's awesome. Okay, awesome. We're going to get some ice cream. It got Oreo. Come on. Caramel pencil crunch. <laughs> Midnight Madness. And. Your puzzle says. And I got pumpkin cheesecake and chocolate peanut butter brownie. Look how many flavors they have. Okay, so this is our church's conference center. It's in downtown Salt Lake City. And this is where they tape um, a biannual conference for our whole church. This building is huge, has 21,000 seats in here. And this is where the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, except it's called the Tabernacle Choir Square now, um, sings as well. One dangerous spot here, you found it. Nice. Okay, all done with the place you can fall off. All of the paintings in the conference center are original except for two. So these are all the original paintings. Nailed it! 
half hour now. Mother of six right there, we've learned. This is the Salt Lake Temple. So, they are obviously renovating it, and it's gonna take four years, but they're already two years in. So two more years to finish the Salt Lake Temple. When they first built the temple, it took almost 50 years to build it. Okay, we're going to the Church History Museum next. Shirley. Oh, there you go. All right. One more time. One more time. Black, Black Bear Diner. Kids' favorite. Suburban Beast has let us down this morning. <laughs> we actually are with the Suburban, the truck with a trailer in Northern Salt Lake. The Suburban has uh, kerplunked. It will not move. So wow, we moved around the whole country for a year and we're finally stuck on the side of the road. Everything will be okay. Dad controls all listening materials. Yes! Kevin Pritchard! <laughs> Alright, we're leaving the Suburban behind. There it is. We don't like it anymore. Who says we need another car? We can just drive around the country like this. Okay, although cars breaking down is always a crappy situation, at least we had another car with us. And don't worry. Wyatt's in his car seat, the rest of the kids have seat belts, we all have seat belts, um, but we gotta get back for Halloween. We will come back and fix the Suburban next week and we will get that workhorse back on the road. But for now, we will all be squished in the truck. <laughs> right, but when the waves came in, they would like spit it back out in like a huge splash and make a big boom. Ever to have me father's plan I always want to be with my own family And the Lord has shown me how I can The Lord has shown me how I can Okay, we're trick-or-treating Take, wait, oh, you want your candy? Okay, his candy's gotta be in the picture. <laughs> okay, we're trick-or-treating at our house, our old house. The house we sold makes me sad, but it's good to see. Look how cute. Grandma. Okay, of course, we have to do the annual organization of the candy. That's just I'm already. We have church at the Richfield Tabernacle today. It's a little change of scenery. 